giant cell arteritis presents as a complex of fever, anemia, raised ESR, and headaches in elderly patients. The diagnosis is confirmed by biopsy of the temporal artery, which shows a focal granulomatous lesion involving the entire arterial wall. The artery itself may be tender or thickened when affected. It may pulsate in the early part of the disease, but may become occluded later. The area in front of the upper ear is prepared and shaved as necessary. The artery itself can usually be located by palpation, at which point the skin is marked. The artery may also be confirmed with Doppler. First local anesthetic is infiltrated. A one centimeter skin incision is made. And retractors are placed. The subcutaneous space is developed. The artery is relatively deep and needs to be freed from the surrounding fascia. Once identified, a ligature is placed to provide traction. The two ends of the artery are then clipped and a segment of artery is removed. The two arterial ends are then ligated with vicryl. And finally, the wound is closed with a subcuticular suture. The segment of artery will dry quickly and should be placed into a formalin specimen jar as soon as possible. The specimen is then sent for laboratory examination. Mm -hmm.